Greetings all, Professor Gomes here. All right, I just thought I'd take a moment. Even though our course doesn't start for a couple of weeks, I'm recording this on Monday the 18th, but I wanted to give you a head start, um, especially the fact that you're going to need a TI calculator, and you, you can rent one for $20 from the library, but all in all, I wanted to give you a head start on what you're going to expect since it's only a two-week course, and it's... Uh, it's challenging. The good news is you get it done in two weeks, and the bad news is you got to do it in two weeks. So when you first log on uh, prior to January 7th, um, this is the page that you go to. Once the course begins, you'll actually go to a page that says Learning Modules, where you'll actually see the assignments and the videos and the PDFs and the like. Uh, hello, students. Welcome to the course. I'm excited to work with you. This winter session term to assist you in achieving your goals. One of the reasons I love teaching it is um, it's the real world applications. I mean, everything on the news, on the radio, on social media is something to do with statistics, whether it's the election or how people feel about this, that, and the other thing. But um, yeah, it's real. Please go through all the web pages, familiarize yourself with how we all operate. Your textbook is free. Um, please contact me if you have any challenges so we can work together. Best way to get a hold of me is uh, my email address, jgomes at Massasoit. I do check my email um, several times a day, so I'm always available by email. And you'll see that as we I start to talk about this, prior to the two exams, I'll hold a non-mandatory Zoom meeting. All right, so let me start off here with the course overview. I'll actually forward you a, uh, the uh, syllabus as an attachment. If you're brand new to uh, Canvas, you may want to start here. Um, beginner's Guide talks about how things work in Canvas. If you have any issues, um, contacting the ARC. Um, <clears throat> preparing yourself for online technical requirements. Please, if you're brand new to Canvas, take a look at just getting started. But the uh, course description, just the way it appears in the, uh, the handbook, the Master Soil Handbook, provides a basic introduction to statistics. It should be recommended for students in business and social science, human resources, allied health, just about every discipline kind of requires a, uh, you take a basic introductory course in statistics. Prerequisites, D minus or higher, put it this way, if you hadn't met the requirements, you wouldn't be able to have registered for the course. Teaching procedure, all the assignments and course resources, it's an online course, it's going to be posted on Canvas. Uh, there's your textbook, you can view it online, you can download a PDF within, you'll see this in a moment or two, within Canvas, I actually have a... Uh, each chapter is broken up into sections. You can actually read your text right out of um, right out of Canvas. To be quite honest, there's a, not a, a lot of assignments that require your reading. They're, they're mainly for extra help, extra resources, right? But pretty much I do everything with voiceover videos, uh, uh, my homeworks. I have PDFs of the solutions. You'll see all of that. But there it is to click on that. You can, if you're actually seeing that, it's probably not. So I'll get off of that. If you click, you can view your book online and download it. Super, super important. All right, is that you're going to, of course, requires a TI-84, a newer graphing calculator. Notice TI, Texas Instrument, TI-84 graphing calculator. Specifically, now the good news is you don't have to go out to Best Buy or to Amazon to buy one. For twenty dollars, you can rent one from the library. So, another reason why I'm producing this video so early is that I want to make sure that when the course actually begins January seventh, you have that calculator already in your possession. All right, um, and here's where you can click. Here again, I'm not sure you can see that. It opens up into another window. You can click to make an appointment to go to the library and pick up your calculator. Now, what they'll do, years back, they used to charge you right away. They wanted the $20, but they'll do, they'll actually bill you the $20. And then 
at the end of the course, um, you return it to the library. All right, twenty dollars a rental fee. Right, the rental fee will be applied to your student bill, and the calculator is due at the end of the semester. You really don't want to not send it back or give it back to them because they'll charge you one hundred twenty dollars. All right, but when the semester is over, when the uh, two weeks is over, I think you, perhaps you could keep it actually for the. I'm not sure if you can keep it for the spring semester. But if you don't have a need of it, just bring it back and be done with it. Assignments, textbooks, assignments. Well, not really textbook. Assignments will be posted. All right, from January 2nd right through the 12th, two weeks. I have voiceover um, solutions to the homework. Questions concerning uh, homework will be answered via email. Now, I get this question a lot, all right? Be very, just zero in on this. Homework will not repeat, will not be collected nor graded. All right, it's a two-week course. No need of submitting any homework. All the homework is multiple choice. I have the answers on the last sheet of the P, of the PDF, all right? So I can't very well co correct something that I'm giving you the answers to. So please, don't be emailing me and saying, where do I send? No, homework is not repeat, not collected nor graded. All right, if you're using a, um, a mobile device to log on to campus, it's not really recommended. It works, but, you know, a lot of assignments require that you actually have a PC or a, um, an iBook. Or a, um, what am I trying to say? A uh, laptop computer. It will work with a mobile device, but there are some issues. All right, two tests. They'll be online. One's on Saturday, 1-6, and one's on the Friday, 1-12. I give you a total of 36 hours to complete the exam. I open it up about 8 o'clock in the morning on the Saturday and on the 12th at 8 o'clock, and it's open for 36 hours. And we'll talk more about that. While, I, while I'm talking about quizzes, is right here on the left-hand side, all right? The exams are called quizzes. This is where you'll click. And there it is right there, all right? You'll see these. They'll be available, all right? on January 6th and the other one on January 12th. There's where you take your exams. You'll click on those. And we'll talk more about that as we get closer to the date. Go back to course overview. All right, so calculator. Make sure you get that. The sooner the better. The grading procedure. If you've been a student at Massachusetts, you know how grades work, but it constitutes an A, a B, and so forth. Canvas logon policy. Choices have consequences. They have consequences for me, you, for everyone. You're expected to log on several times a week. There may be a day where you spend more time. And I'll talk about that. I'll publish all of the assignments for the first week in one shot. So if you have more time, let's say on a Monday or Tuesday, you can get more accomplished. But you got to log on. It's, uh, it's quick. Two weeks goes by. We're doing basically what we're doing is what would take us 14 weeks in a regular spring or fall semester. We're accomplishing all of that in a two-week span. And chances are, if you're signing up for a uh, uh, winter session, you've already taken something of this nature, and you know the workload. We've got quite a few students. We've got 25 students enrolled. Learning objectives right out of the handbook here. You take a look at that. Course content, summarizing data, and Discrete distributions and the like, you can take or you can read this. Um, kind of important, Office of Diversity and Inclusion. If you have an IEP, an individual education plan, all right, please, um, you have an, what's called an accommodation letter. Please make sure that I get that, all right? And what you may want to do is contact the uh, academic uh, Disability Resource Office, and there's their phone number and their email. If you have a uh, accommodation, and most accommodations um, allow you more time. All right, so if you've got one of these, please make uh, make sure I do get the letter. Andrea Hendry is the young lady's name who runs the office. All right, so if you've got a letter, you've already you know the situation. Um, make sure that. Um, she would forward you a letter, and then you would forward it to me, and I can adjust the time on your exams. Usually it's more time. All right, that's pretty much it for 
the course overview. Here again, I will send you a copy of the syllabus, but yeah, I can open it up right here. I guess you're seeing this window, hopefully. It may take a few minutes, but pretty much what I just went over is just repeated in the uh, in the syllabus. Yeah, it's going to take a while to open up, so I'm going to get off this window. All right, so about your teacher, you can take a look at that. You know, you can read it if you like. It just talks about, uh, yeah, I've been a master story for a little bit, going back to 1991, so... Yeah, I've taught this course several times, so. Anyhow, take a peek at that. But when the course begins, all right, initially, you'll come to this landing page. Now until January 2nd. January 2nd, when our course begins, when you log in, you'll be presented with this page. All right, right at the very top here says, Welcome Getting Started. Opening course remarks, this is where I'll post this video once it's completed. Uh, helpful hints, getting started with Canvas. All right. If you have any help, to call the help desk. There's that student guide if you're brand new to Canvas. Uh, calculator rental here again is just another link to make an appointment to pick up your calculator. They'll bill you $20. Being successful in the course. All right. Oh, I can do that later. Yeah. Well, I want you to be successful. Each week says readings, homework. Temptation is to think that the in-person activities are more urgent than your homework. Problem is your online assignments pile up and you fall behind. I recommend you log in each and every day. All right. I recommend time commitment. Contacting me. Email is the best way. All right. Here again, if you've taken courses, online courses, you know how this works, predicting your success. All right, this is just a video, and the young lady here, Angela Lee Duckworth, what she talks about, it's not always the smartest person that does the best. It's the person that has the most grit. The person is willing to spend the time and re-watch the videos, and if still there's a question, to email me. I also have a discussion board right here where you can post questions, but I would recommend just simply emailing me directly. I can answer your questions. Don't let things pile up. All right, you can watch this video at your leisure. Three ways to spot a bad statistic. Another video. If you care to watch that, it's not part of the course. It's just extra added. Resources, Canvas quick links, your profile if you want to put a picture up. Using the inbox, viewing your grades, using your Canvas on a mobile device. All right, notification preferences, updating your profile. It's all here. These are all things you can look at prior to the course beginning. Tech services, if you're having issues logging on, you need assistance. All right, plugins that are helpful. Um, what they do recommend is they're not a big fan of um, of IE, all right? They like uh, Chrome the best, all right? There are some issues. All right, while Chrome is preferred browser, Canvas supports the latest versions of every browser. It's highly recommended you update your, to the newest version of whichever browser you're using. All right, contacting the Canvas Help Desk. You got that there, online readiness. Um, video links. I try to provide it all in one spot. All the videos that accompany each and every section. We're stopping at section 7-2, so these two links would not be uh, relevant. Video links. Textbook and additional resources. It's free. Here again, I've got several links to the whether it's right here or back on the first page I showed you, or even within as I get to the actual assignments, there'll be links to the extra readings. All right, I'm going to just close this up. Now, watch what I'm going to do here. To close this, I'm, if you see my pointer turns into a hand, I just click and that closes it. All right, I can do it this way here by clicking on that down arrow, click it again, or just click anywhere in that gray area. All right. I've got this label as current. This is the week's first week's assignments. One, two to one, six. 
one two to one six all right so what you'll see these are not club published yet in fact you can't even get to this page until the course begins all right but just to give you an idea tuesday the very first day of our course if i click on that link i start out by having you watch a video all right and then i've got a voiceover to a powerpoint if we were in class, this is exactly how, what I would do. I'd be going to a PowerPoint, and I'd be talking about it in class. Since we're not there, I do a voiceover. If you want to actually download the PowerPoint, there's a link to it. And then we move on. Any, any course, the very first chapters are just basic, basic terminology and vocabulary. I'm asking you to watch video one, two, and then there's a PowerPoint all right, that you can download. Now, here's our first assignment, all right? This is a link to the first homework assignment, which is cover sections 1, 1, and 1, 2. Now, what I do here is I give you a voiceover of me actually walking you through how the assignment was, you know, how the answers were <laughs> developed or were solved. Here again, this is taking a few minutes. It's on YouTube. It's about nine minutes long. In fact... I guess my browser is having a little trouble here, but this video will open up. And if it doesn't, within Canvas, you can just basically click right on YouTube here. Of course, technology is great. Why? That's just spinning and not opening up. Who knows? But it will be available. Anytime you, you get a bad link, all right, if anytime a bad link, just let me know and I will fix it. Technology is great. Let me see if I click on YouTube. Oh, you can't see that window. This should be opening. Why it's not, we'll check it out. All right, so here's what I say, though. Please don't watch the video until you've completed the homework. You know, what happens is there's always a temptation to say, oh, I knew that answer. All right, you have the answers to the PDFs. And I do a video, but please don't watch the, you know, solutions until you've actually tried it. And then we're pushing on, all right? I'm asking you to watch this video 2-1 uh, and do the voiceover. So that's the first day. Wednesday, we, we kind of do the same thing. We start off with section 2-2 two, two and 2-3. Two, I'm asking you to watch these two videos, all right? And there's PowerPoints for 2-2 two, two and 2-3. Two, and then once again... You've got a homework, and I know this is, encompasses all of Chapter 3, Sections 2, 1, 2, 2, and 2, 3. There's the link to the PowerPoint for 2, 1, and there's the link for the PowerPoint. And here is the voiceover to this homework. All right, I actually, let's see if this one plays a little better. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this, listen to this. This is the uh, voiceover solutions for all of Chapter 2, Section all right, not only do I have voiceover, I'm going to show you in a minute where I actually have PDFs. And that's great because, you know, as you're preparing for the test, if you get the PDF of the solutions, in many instances, I have, when we're using the calculator, TI, TI-84, I actually have screenshots of how I did it with the TI. Great resource to have, you know, as you prepare for the test, to have these notes right by your side. All right, so we're pushing on to Chapter 3. All right, there's the video for Chapter 3, and there's the voiceover. And then here again, I'm asking you to complete kind of two, two actually, there's two different um, homework assignments here. You get the 2, 1, 2, 2, and 2, 3. And then I'm also asking you to do Section uh, 3, 1. There's the PDF download, and then there's the voiceover to Section 3, 1. Greetings, this is the uh, voice. Here's what I was saying here. If you see here, I've got a screenshot. What we're doing is we're calculating uh, the mean of, excuse me, of a data set. But what I have here is a screenshot of how I came up with the correct answer, in this case, letter B. So it's helpful because you've got the screenshot. You can match up um, what you're doing with your calculator. All right, so if I go on to the next one, you get the idea. This is Thursday. Here again, we watch with videos. Um, here I've got some YouTube videos using the calculate, how you set it up, calculating the mean and mode. 
all sorts of resources. And here I'm kind of giving you a heads up that exam, exam one will be on a Saturday. But I say Saturday, you say, well, I work on Saturdays. Well, I open it up at 8 o'clock in the morning and it doesn't close till the next day, the Sunday at about noontime. All right. So I give you 30 some odd hours. So plenty of time within that 36 hour span that you can sit down and do the exams. All right. Now, moving on here again, there's the PowerPoints. Um, there's the homework. There's the video. In fact, let me do this. Let me go back to my modules here. And you see it all. Um, Microsoft Office is available for a free download. Your text, your uh, TI-83, I've got a guide here that you can download. All right. But, you know, you look at YouTube. What isn't on YouTube? you got a question. If you can't email me, you, you have an issue with your calculator. You want to know how I calculate the mean or the standard deviation you type it in youtube there's hundreds of videos on the on the ti all right so that's the first week and basically the second week is the same thing you know monday right through and our final exam is uh on the 12th the last day of the course but i want to show you here i've got all the homework videos in one spot all right all the voiceovers for all the chapters we're going to do are all here all right they're all in one spot so if you ever say, well, where was that video with the answers for section 4.1? I've got them in one spot for you. Not only do I have the voiceovers, I also have all the PDFs, all right, the solutions to all the sections. They're all here, all in one spot. It's not like I'm rolling it out one at a time. I give it to you right up front. And the reason being is some days you'll have more time to spend inside Canvas than another day. So it's all there. Now I got the readings, all right. I don't assign any readings per se. If you're having issues, it's a good idea to go in and get a little more. If the video is not doing for you, doing enough for you, you can link to the textbook. And it's chapter one, there's two and three. There's the resources there. Here again, these are not published just yet. And all the way through chapter seven. And once again, the quizzes are found there. So. I think I've done the basic. Um, here again, I'm going to publish this video. I'm going to email you a link. It'll be on my YouTube channel all right, for you to watch this. And say initially when you log in, you won't come to this area. When you log in between now and the 2nd of January, this is the first page that you'll go to. All right, and primarily it's course overview getting used to what's going on but here we go i can't stress enough to get yourself the ti-84 um or newer graphing calculators nice people walk in with a scientific calculator no 20 bucks is not all that much because it's all assessments will assume that you have a ti calculator all right um i'm going to stop it there i hopefully that's enough information but here again I'm always available via email. If you have any questions throughout the course, please uh, feel free. Now, here again, I'll, I'm going to do a couple of Zoom meetings, and those Zoom meetings I'll talk about will be, um, in fact, let me just click on Zoom here, and I'll publish these, all right? I've got an 11 o'clock non-mandatory. This is prior. In fact, now I, now I take this back. I opened up the exams at noontime, both the Friday, the, I'm sorry, Saturday, the uh, 6th, and Friday, the 12th. And I keep it open till the next day at midnight. So what I want to do is give you the opportunity before the exam begins. If you're available, say, the Saturday or the 6th at 11, I'll do a one-hour Zoom where I'll answer any questions. But here again, don't, if you got a question prior to that, prior to the non-mandatory Zoom, please email me. And the same thing, an hour before I open up the second exam. Um, and here again, I will send you these links because they're two different URLs for the non-mandatory Zooms prior to. So I don't want to, 
say too much and get you too overwhelmed. But here again, if you're signing up for a two-week intercession, chances are you've done this before. So look forward to working with you and um, have a, a Merry Christmas and hopefully a healthy and happy New Year. <laughs>